It's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. So happy to have you here. Tap that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss anything coming up. And if you've been rock with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, and welcome back. Whew, y'all, it's been an interesting week, almost two weeks now. I really hope that in the midst of everything that's going on in our world i hope you all are protecting your space protecting your peace it's really easy to get caught up on social media and scroll and get emotional it can become overwhelming i know it did for me and i had to like take a lot of breaks part of me felt like i need to be on social media just to keep abreast of things you know i know i talked more about it on 20 dollar tuesday but yeah it's been a it's been a weird time i'm feeling a combination of things as you guys already know i just hope that all of you are able to protect your mental space so of course as you guys already see by the title this is a wig review i've been wanting to review this unit for a minute but it just didn't happen i had other things going on but i'm thankful for sam's beauty for sponsoring this video and for outre bringing us this beauty her name is julianne I like how Altrey switched up the packaging. I think it's cute the way it opens. Voila, <laughs> that's Julianne. And I also like how they have the care guide here on the box. I think it's, it's nice how they did the packaging. So Julianne is a 13 by six frontal unit. It's from Altrey's Perfect Care Line series. She is a very yakky texture. This is definitely mimicking African-American 4B, 4C hair. She does have your two combs here on the front, a comb in the back adjustable straps and she comes with an elastic strap to have a more form fit so let's just toss her on and see what she's looking like Ooh, wow so off the bat i'm like okay this is a little snug mind you i have a 22 inch head wow she is pretty what oh, this is so pretty you guys yes I am here for it. My braids are really old, so you'll see my widow's peak trying to peek through. Um, I really wanted to wear this glueless, but I don't know if I'll be able to. I think I'm gonna use the combs. I'm gonna see what I can do, I'm gonna see what I can do. All right, so if you guys wanna see me style this unit and tell you my thoughts, keep on watching. y'all i am back with julianne 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 <laughs> okay so i guess this is when i just dive right into my pros right y'all see this on my head right look at miss julianne on my head she is stunning first pro for me straight out the box is the texture those familiar with my channel know that i do love yaki textures especially ones that are kinky straight blowout textures like this this mimics my hair to the t this is what my hair would be like if it was longer blown out press and curl like this is what it would look like i'm here for this i love it i love how easily my hands go through the hair i'm not getting any tangling whatsoever i am getting a little bit of shedding but nothing out of control. I also really love the style and length of this unit. I think this is a perfect everyday length. Let me see, this falls like a good seven, eh, 18 inches on me with the curls and stretched out, it's a little bit longer. I love that the style pretty much came ready out the pack, which differs from Sensational's Letitia. If you saw that review, that wig, 
as gorgeous as that hair was, I had to put a lot of work into the styling portion because I didn't like the way it looked out the pack. Julianne, however, came ready, honey. She came ready to see me. Oh my God, yes. This is like the hair of my dreams. <laughs> she just looks so good, you guys. Oh my God, I love her. Do you see this flip right here? God, I also am feeling the way the hairline is looking. I think it's looking pretty pre plucked on me. I like it and I feel like it's gonna look natural in the sunlight. What do you guys think? Actually, let's take a trip. Let's see, cause I'm gonna have my window over here. Let me see how she's looking in the sunlight. Boop, boop, boop. Here we go. <laughs> how is she looking, you guys? Not bad, not bad. Ooh, I gotta fix that part right there. Okay, I would obviously do a little bit more to fix her here in the front before walking out the house because it is very sunny outside. Let me fix that, yeah. But I love it. Oh my God, I'm glowing in Julianne. All right, let's go back to my setup. <laughs> Now, as far as cons, the main con for me is the cap size. It is definitely fitting pretty snug on my 22 inch medium size head. I was expecting it to be more roomy. I am using the adjustable band that it came with and it is fitting very snug. This wig isn't going anywhere, like it's staying on my head. I can appreciate the snugness. However, if you have a larger head, it might err on the side of being uncomfortable. Julianne, I mean, ugh, this looks like I'm getting an award, honey. <laughs> I love her. I just love the va va voom volume. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. I did notice that the ends kind of are thin towards the bottom, considering so much volume is up here. That might bother a few people, but it's not really bothering me too much. On Letitia by Sensational, to me it was a more stark difference because Letitia was longer. And I ended up wanting to cut Letitia this length anyway, so I'm really glad that Altre came out with a wig that already came in this length. Beautiful, beautiful hairstyle. And of course, you get 13 by six parting, so you can easily just, you know, do what you want, cause you do what you want when you popping. Look at me, doing what I want, cause I'm what? Popping. <laughs> oh man, you can like part her in the middle. Oh my gosh, you guys, come on. You see this? I can easily just style her in the middle if I want to. And of course, for all my left part girls, you can style her to the left as well. She looks great in the middle. Let me flatten her down. She looks so cute. Definitely giving Nisha vibes on a 13 by six. And I remember asking for this. I remember saying like, oh, if they put Nisha on a 13 by six, it's game over. Well, hello, Altre, the game is over. It is called perfect hairline. I wouldn't say the hairline is perfect, but it's good enough for me. And of course you can always go in and squeeze more to your preference. This is absolutely beautiful, y'all. I don't want to take this off. <laughs> I don't want to take this off. Look at this parting space. I know you can see my wig cap there, but all you gotta do is just throw on some powder. Throw on some powder, and you have got a quick fix. Voila. Ooh, these flyaway hairs though, that's a, okay. Wait a minute now. This looks so cute. <laughs> is that your hair? Of course it is! Growing out of my scalp. Oh, oh my God. I do have another color for you guys, so let me just take this off and show you that color before we wrap this up. All right, YouTube fam, I had to get back in front of my window to show you all Miss Julianne in this color. Do you see this? What? Oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. And I feel like this color is perfect for my wig bays out there who want to experiment with color. Maybe you are used to wearing one, one B number two because that is your natural hair color and you're like, dang, I wanna try something else, but I'm just scared. Y'all, get this chocolate swirl. Do you see this on my brown skin? This complements my skin so well. Normally, I'm not a fan of brown hair on me. I usually feel like uh, it's just gonna blend in with me. I'm gonna look like brown on brown. It's just, it's just not gonna look the way I want it to look. But this? is different and i know i've touched on it before but i'll say it again altre really knows how to do 
color. They've really stepped it up on the color game. I've talked about it with Outre Courtney. Some of you have seen that blonde wig. Adore the dimensions in that wig. And same thing here for Julianne. There's like several different colors in here. I don't know if you can see them. I see a little bit of 30, 27. I see the number four in there. Blend it all together, it makes for a beautiful chocolate swirl effect and I'm here for it. If the colors didn't have this type of dimension, I probably would not like it on me. This is amazing. I'm telling you, if you are ready to try color and you wanna start with something subtle, this is the color to try. And it's also very work appropriate. Let's say you have a job that does not promote outlandish colors like the really vibrant blondes that I wear. Maybe they prefer something more subtle. If you go on a Zoom conference with this, what? They're gonna be like, who is she? <laughs> Who did I hire? You've been working here for how long? And you're like, oh girl, this is year five. You can easily look like a year 10 CEO in this wig. These flips and these layers, perfection. The only thing I snip, because I know y'all wonder if I cut anything, is the ends, like I said, on the number two color. They were a little bit thin, so I snipped off maybe a centimeter. If that, I snipped off a little bit from the bang. I'm telling you though, it wasn't necessary. It's just me being a little OCD. And another thing is, I actually decided to wear this this one glueless. You see? This is glueless on my head, y'all. See? Glueless. No glue. I didn't really um color that incorrectly. But yes, I am feeling Miss Juliana. She is a top contender. Wow. You know what's funny? I'm doing a wig favorites, like my top synthetic wigs video. And I have my list. I just need to do the video. But now I'm like, dang, do I need to add Julianne to the list? Like, I don't know. What? I don't know. I don't know. Now, let's talk about the price. This is a higher price synthetic wig. It does cost $55 on Sam's Beauty. Normally, I'm not a fan of high price synthetic wigs, especially when they are not a human hair blend. I just feel like that's that should change. But because this wig is this texture, this yakky texture, I am not worried about the longevity of the fibers because in my experience, yakkier textures last longer, especially when they are this kinky straight blowout texture. So for me, I'm just like, okay, I feel like I'm gonna be getting what I paid for. So in comparison to like, let's say Sensational Letitia, that wig, same price point, similar price point, but I had to do a lot more work to the style. I would have rather bought Julianne over Letitia, hands down. Now, if you aren't a fan of this price point, check out my $20 Tuesday video. That unit is definitely much cheaper and it looks a little bit similar to this, but you're not gonna get the color variety that this wig has. And also keep in mind, this wig is not big head friendly. This is more of like a medium sized head friendly. So for all my smaller head girls, you'll be good with this wig. Please let me know how you feel about Julianne in the comments down below. Would you rock her? Would you purchase her during this quarantine? Is this gonna be your next wig for your next Zoom call, your Zoom happy hour? Let your girl know. As you can probably tell by my excitement, I am absolutely feeling her. I'm loving this chocolate swirl color. I cannot get enough of it. Like I keep looking at myself like I'm going somewhere and I'm not. And also if you need more tips on how to make your wigs look natural or how to shape your wigs, definitely check out my wig 101 playlist where I feature a slew of videos pertaining to those topics. I'm sure you'll find something helpful. And if you are new here, what are you waiting for? Tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, join the family, drop me some love, and introduce yourself. Shout out to Sans Beauty for sponsoring this video. And if you wanna see some of my latest videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank you so much. Make sure you're staying safe out there. Protect your peace, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.